clicking and dragging presets from over here can get a little annoying to say the least. So today I'm going to show you how not only can you make this faster, but also just a lot of other commands with in Premiere Pro, and that is using an Elgato Stream Deck. As you can see here, I have three different folders. One is for Keo, so this is everything to do with his camera and everything, and I just have all these different buttons here that align to different presets. And you might be wondering how that's possible. The first step is unfortunately necessary but it is purchasing a plugin called Excalibur. This is a plugin created by Knights of the Editing Table who make really, really useful plugins. And this was actually the first plugin I ever actually paid for. And unfortunately, the price has gone up recently, but it is so worth the price if you make any sort of money through editing. It is one of the most powerful tools I've ever seen in Premiere Pro. So if we hop back into Premiere, this is function number one of Excalibur, is that it lets you add keyboard shortcuts to way more stuff that is not inherently available to set keyboard shortcuts for within Premiere Pro. So as you can see here, one of the biggest ones for me and one of the main reasons I bought this plugin was that you can now add keyboard shortcuts to video presets. So you see I have control alt shift and then just a bunch a bunch of presets set. And this works for any keyboard shortcut, but if you want to be able to set Stream Deck buttons to presets, you're gonna have to get this plugin so that you can set keyboard shortcuts to presets to begin with. Now I can hit Control Alt Shift Q and I know that I have this preset, but that's kind of a very complicated keyboard shortcut, not to mention how hard it would be to memorize all of these. That's where the Stream Deck comes in and it couldn't be more simple. These buttons are literally just a hotkey. If you just go into system and hotkey, you just drag a hotkey over and then click to assign it, Control Alt Shift Q for instance, and then you can just label it with cams separate in and out and you're good to go boom that's as easy as it could be and this can be any keyboard shortcut maybe you want to have a quick export so then you just do control m pop over here hit the export button and boom it is seriously that simple to add so much more quick access, especially some of those more complicated keyboard shortcuts. If you have trouble memorizing them or anything too, having a label right here is so nice. And you may have seen my previous videos where I was trying a couple different editing tools. I tried the the Tourbox Neo as well as the Shuttle Express. And honestly, the Stream Deck is just so powerful, not to mention just how much other use it has for everything. I highly recommend doing this. It has saved me so much time. Uh, because as you might imagine, there's a lot of presets set on all of this footage here and all of that time clicking and dragging, and then you accidentally click the wrong one. So then you have to undo it and click the right one. Like it just saves so much time to have it right there on a stream deck button ready to go for you. So I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other tips or tricks or you know, hacks that you know of to make the stream deck better for Premiere Pro. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.